So now we will talk about our recording. And uh, in the beginning, uh, we also need to check uh, the connection for the MG400. So as the MG400 could be a USB audio interface, so we will use it to connect with the PC. And uh, uh, you can connect the monitor uh, with the uh, stereo output. Then, okay, remember to set up uh, the output mode as the direct studio direct out. Okay, so uh, if you are Windows uh, user, so please go to the product page to download the related audio driver. And of uh, course, I use the Mac, so I will demo the recording tutorial with Logic Pro. So uh, just follow the connection and uh, remember to set up the output mode as the studio direct out. Okay, so after you uh, connect with the computer, and first step is go to the system preference to set up the sound and uh, choose the MG400 as the input and the output. Okay, so the next step is open the DAW. So I use the Logic Pro. And while you open the DAW, uh, remember, go to the preference to set up the input and output buffer size as the 128 samples. So uh, that's the first step. Then uh, you can start to open the check to record. So right now, uh, you can do the USB routing here. And you can also adjust the recording level or the playback level. But usually you just set it as the 0 dB, that will be fine. And uh, uh, regularly, if you want to recall uh, what you hear onto the DAW, you just choose the normal one. And if you want to also recall uh, the playback from the system, you can also choose the loopback function. Okay, so later we will uh, introduce uh, how to do reamp and the, the dry out. Okay, so Firstly, we will uh, do the normal recording. So you just open the DAW. And uh, for example, right now, I already recorded. So actually, this is the first track I record, and I just uh, play in normal mode. So what I record is actually what I heard uh, from the device. So I just record it. Later, I will uh, show you how I record it. And uh, after you record the the backing, uh, when I finish all the backing, uh, I do the solo part and uh, I use the dry out. So here you can choose dry out, and uh, uh, it means what you record actually is the dry signal, but you can hear the processed signal, so it won't affect uh, your touch. But you can record the dry signal onto the DAW. So. As you can see, uh, the dry signal is quite uh, small, quite weak, because it's unprocessed.
after you recall the dry signal, uh, you can open a new track and uh, do the reamp. So you can choose the uh, reamp here. Then uh, what you hear, uh, the next step you have to do is you have to mute all the other tracks, only play the dry signal. Then choose the reamp track to recall. So you can recall it and uh, uh, the dry signal will play to the MG foundry. Then that will recall the uh, dry, uh, wet signal, the process signal onto the reamp track. So I will show you how to do it. You can do reamp here. So I choose the reamp and then uh, I open a new track. So in the meantime, I have to uh, mute all the other checks and only play the dry signal check. Then I can do reamp. So let's do it. So after you do the everything, then uh, you can do the mixing on the DAW.